My name is Paul Murphy and I am a trumpet player. I remember right after I finished college, I sat down and I actually wrote out some you know, career goals for myself. And one of them said something to the effect of, I really wanna try to bridge these two worlds of what it means to be like a really good performer and what does it mean to be a really good music educator. And, and I wanna somehow like have a career that fills the gap, that sort of bridges the gap. So I have worked for over a decade now as a teaching artist with the New York Philharmonic. That's been a big part of my career. I've taught over a thousand days in New York City public schools. We spend a fair amount of time, me and my students getting to know each other and reflecting on who we are. I remember a couple of years ago, our theme was literally identity. And so we were thinking like, who am I? What do I bring to the table? That ended up sort of very organically turning into a project where the students ended up composing their own musical motifs of who they were. And so in a classroom of 30 kids in New York City, it was amazing to see the beautiful complexity of what the students came up with that was like, this is who I am, this is who I am musically, and then preparing to perform it and then sharing it with everyone. That's, that's a beautiful thing. I get joy from being in a room full of kids and seeing them grow seeing the light bulb moments when they realize that their artistic voice matters, that their creativity is actually really cool. Being able to facilitate that brings me certainly as much joy as performing on stage at Carnegie Hall does. We tend to have these like very specific career paths. I have to go become an orchestral musician or I have to become a university professor or I have to do high school band director. And I think the truth is there's a spectrum of, of choices. Just remembering that you always have choices of where you want to go is, is important.